Question. In what ways do you think care providers could better accept difference and support positive autistic identity? Well, first of all, avoid making assumptions. Assuming you're not autistic yourself, autistic people are different from you in some very fundamental ways. Autistic people can also be very different from each other. You may find you're making assumptions you don't even know you're making. Try to let go of your idea of normal. Listen to what the autistic person actually says they want and need and then believe them. Also adopt a pragmatic attitude to fixing problems. If the autistic person isn't on board with it, it's never going to work. Ask yourself if this problem is actually a problem to the autistic person or maybe more of a problem to you or to your organization. If fixing or treating is needed, then fix or treat specific problems for specific reasons. Don't fix or treat things simply because they're autistic or otherwise different. Also, be careful with the information you give them. A lot of autism literature is written from the assumption that everything that's different about an autistic person is bad, wrong or defective simply because it's different. If a book only talks about what an autistic person cannot do, then avoid that. Autism is a different developmental profile. It comes with strengths too. It can help a lot to read books, online blog articles and other information written by fellow autistic people. Finally, make sure they get plenty of time to just be themselves and enjoy themselves. Few things wear more on one's mental health than having every activity, every interaction be in service of therapy, of fixing or improving the person. We all need our leisure time. Let autistic people have theirs. One other thing that can help a lot. Care providers could employ some autistic or otherwise neurodivergent carers. As different as we autistic people are from each other, there is a certain something that we have in common that makes it easier for us to communicate with each other. Many autistic people relate better to a carer who is also autistic, but non-autistic carers who have some other personal experience of being different from the dorm may also find it easier to empathize with an autistic person. Just sharing the experience of being different can already help a lot to break the ice, as it were. Question. Do you think access to autistic space is an important part of good care for autistic people? Why? Well, imagine being the only one who is like you. Not for a day, a week or a year, but for your entire life. Everyone around you is somehow different from you and finds it very difficult to understand you. You're like a puzzle to them. They think you're weird and bizarre and they all wish you could just be normal. You find it difficult to understand them too, but you're forced to just to have some semblance of a life. So you eventually become quite good at it by necessity. This is how many autistic people end up masking their differences all the time. And that masking, if it becomes second nature, can cause you to lose sight of who you actually are. You find some acceptance eventually, but at the expense of being yourself. But there are also autistic people who cannot or do not mask so much. They often find themselves constantly rejected for their differences. Either way, this can and does wreak havoc on one's mental health and basic sense of self. Everyone needs to be in touch with a community of others like themselves, at least some of the time. Everyone sometimes needs a friend or role model that they can relate to. Autistic people are no exception to that. Care providers do often recognize this and organize social groups for autistic people. However, they are usually led by a non-autistic person. This is a bit like a woman's group led by a man. It's not going to work very well. In spite of all the best intentions, it's always going to be a bit patronizing. It's never going to be quite safe to be yourself. Autistic space, when done right, is more than just an opportunity for autistic people to meet other autistic people. It's where autistic people are actually in charge and determine how things work. It's a place where we still recognize the reality of disability, but don't pathologize being different. 
It is acceptable, accepted, encouraged to be yourself, no matter in what way you communicate, no matter how weird you are. Care providers can help foster autistic space and autistic community, not by running social groups for them, but by finding autistic people who have the skills and the motivation to run these social groups or even other kinds of events altogether. The yearly autistic run Autscape conference and retreat can serve as a good example. Make sure they have the help, information and resources they need to run these and remain available for support, but do stay out of the way and let them do it their own way.